This is Brandeis University. Objects are intrinsic to any kind of social relation. They are not epiphenomenal. They are at the center stage of uh, enabling uh, social life. Here at Brandeis, we do have an interesting collection of archaeological and ethnographic origin. For some of these objects, um, we still don't have a clue as to what they are, and that's part of the task. A year ago, when I taught a course on cross-cultural art and aesthetics, students selected objects that they wanted to research on, and I vividly remember the case of a student who was very much attracted by this object. And as a result of the research that she did, we found out that uh, it's a war club. It was a great paper. My name is Javier Urzid. I'm currently the chair of the anthropology department. I deal with the decipherment of extinct scripts and the analysis of skeletal remains. The bulk of my work is done in what is now the modern state of Oaxaca. In antiquity, it was in this region of Mesoamerica that different societies invented at least probably something like six different scripts. And uh, so I have been roaming a uh, large uh, expanse of uh, Oaxaca, uh, searching for inscriptions. This book was most likely painted in the 15th century, 100 to 50 years before European contact. The interesting thing about the scripts that I work with is that not only do they have a phonetic component, but they usually accompany narrative scenes, pictorial scenes, people doing things, they, they also mark here parts of landscapes like hills. This, these are conventions to make reference to hills and mountains. Some of them have this uh, sort of fret-like designs that also indicate the presence of settlements. So it's a bit of a paradox to say that uh, in ancient Mesoamerica we're dealing with prehistoric societies because as a matter of fact, the existence of all these scripts implies that, uh, you know, these ancient peoples were writing their own history. Uh, history that we cannot yet read, but still, it's their history.